and some students at WPI have a lot of a lot riding on an upcoming contest and the center of the whole research project is a remote controlled car but this vehicle is probably a lot bigger than you'd expect you won't believe what these college students are working on right here in Worcester this team of talented Worcester Polytechnic students are hoping to drive away with the $2 million grand prize in the 2005 DARPA Grand Challenge. Today they held an open garage to show off the progress they've made on this 1990 Toyota 4Runner. With any luck and a lot of research, they're hoping it will soon meet the criteria for an elite U.S. Department of Defense contest. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA holds a high-tech showdown every year. This time around, WPI's Team Atlas Off-Road is working overtime to get the Toyota truck on par to make the fastest time on a treacherous closed course in the southwestern U.S. over 175 miles worth of terrain on October 8th. WPI club members explain. We're entering into the DARPA Grand Challenge, sponsored by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Association, a division of the United States Department of Defense, to create an autonomous vehicle to travel 175 miles across desert terrain in less than 10 hours. And so we, we finally got the entire vehicle remote controlled. And after we do that, we plan on adding the sensors and also the computers, which are ultimately going to control it. The, the vehicle. Remote control is our first milestone. Eventually it's going to be controlled by a computer operating solely off of sensors that the car sees. Um, last year the DARPA Grand Challenge had 20 competitors and the furthest team was Carnegie Mellon University that made it 7.2 miles. And we're trying to build on that this year. Everyone here is here because they really want to be here. Um, it's it's always after, always after class. Um, we do have advisors, but this is really a student-run organization, and we come here and we do what we like to do best, and that's build, and that's to, to try and do something that no one else has ever done before. Now this year's W this year WPI's Team Atlas Off-Road has already passed one cut and dwindled themselves down to one in 136 participants. But in order to make it to the top 20, apparently these guys have to these guys and gals are going to have to pass another muster with several written tests, site visits, vehicle and video reviews of that forerunner. So of course we'll keep you updated as this October 8th competition grows nearer and these WPI students come closer and closer to their goal of winning two million dollars in this DARPA challenge. Well thanks for joining us for the Worcester News Tonight 10 o'clock update. I'm Julie Tremel. Chet Curtis will have the rest of today's news for you in just a moment. But first here's Tim Kelly with hopefully a less snowy forecast. Have a great night everyone.